Hi folks, today we're taking a look at the Joby Wavo Boom Arm and the Wavo Pod Microphone. Now Joby are known for their high quality camera accessories, but today we're gonna to find out, can they also make great audio gear? I've been using Joby products for years. They're well known for things like this Gorilla Pod, which is this flexible tripod that you can mount to pretty much anything. But what should we be expecting from their forays into microphones and accessories for podcasters and streamers? You're probably watching this if you're thinking of leveling up your audio game beyond a more basic microphone setup. So in this video, we'll unbox their full Wavo Pod streamer kit. We'll check out all the main features and of course, run a few tests so that you can hear how this all sounds. Let's go. Let's start by seeing what we get in the box. So if we begin with the Wavo Pod microphone, we can see we've got some paperwork, a couple of cable options are included. There's USB-C to USB-A, and also a USB-C to USB-C cable. A nice touch to avoid having to use dongles or docks. And here's the mic itself. It's actually a lot larger than it looks in pictures on the website. Very solidly made and it's reassuringly heavy at just under one kilogram. We can see this big, bold Joby red pop filter on top. This can be removed if required. And then we've got a number of mounting ports here to enable this to work with other Joby products. More on that shortly. Up front, we can see we've got some nice tactile controls, no touch sensitive ones here. And there's a volume knob, which is also your mute function. And there's a switch below to toggle between cardioid pickup up and bi-directional input. We're going to test both of those out in just a second. Underneath we can see we've got a jack for our USB-C interface and also a 3.5mm jack so you can plug in a headset to monitor your audio with zero latency. And the mic does come mounted on a nice heavy base. This then screws off so that it can be mounted on the boom arm. Let's take a look at the boom arm. In the box you're going to get a couple of mounting options or your screws, allen keys, etc. and these strips that let you customize how this looks. Let's get into setup. It's worth pointing out that the mic does come mounted on a nice heavy base, so if you just want it sat on your desk for work calls or podcasting, you're all set. It's fully plug and play, so once you hook up your USB-C cable, everything lights up in this rather pleasing blue, which lets you control volume for your headphone audio. It'll then flick over to red if you press the volume button in to mute it. If you do a long press on this button, the light will change to purple, which then lets you control gain. Now, when it comes to the boom arm, they give you a bunch of options for setting this up. Firstly, the benefit of having something like a boom arm is if you're doing things like podcasting and streaming, you're far more likely to get a nice, consistent quality of audio that isn't affected by things like vibrations on your desk or likely to pick up things like typing or clicking while your mic is live. You can also pop it out of the way when it's not in use to give you some desk space back. So I decided to use the desk clamp option for my setup. This is all covered in this lovely red rubber which means it should protect your table or your desk from any nasty clamping marks or scuffs if you chose to take it off. Now once this is in place you're simply popping the arms, tighten everything up, screw the microphone on and then adjust as needed. Once you've done that you can feed your cable in, Tuck it all away with either the black covers or these red ones that come in the box and you're good to go. I think this probably works best if you've got a desk with an open side or a back. Mine actually doesn't, so I set it all up on the front here, but it's been working just fine for me. If you have got a desk with holes already drilled in, you can use this other mounting kit, which lets you use it with a grommet and it'll just sit in a way that looks like it's kind of floating on your desk. I might yet try this setup, we'll see. Now importantly, if you're thinking about buying this to use with a microphone that isn't the Wavo Pod mic, you might want to bear this in mind. So the system that feeds and tidies away the cable is absolutely fine for a USB cable. So if you're using with another USB mic, absolutely fine. If however you wanted to use it with something like an XLR mic, there isn't a way to tidy this up without having some of the cable run over the arm. It's just not possible to find a way to feed it through. This was the best I could manage when I tried to tidy it up using an XLR cable. Let's move on to features. I mentioned that the mic has two input modes, which is great to see for a mic price at this level. Both are gonna give you high quality, 24 bit, 48 kilohertz audio, which most laptops or USB devices will be able to work with. I used it here with my MacBook and it picked it straight up as an input and output source. Likewise, a pop filter isn't something you usually find as standard at this price point, but as you're about to hear, it is a really good job cleaning up the audio so it sounds really crispy coming straight out of the mic. If you have it in cardioid mode, this will generally pick up sound from immediately in front of the mic and slightly to the side. This is probably the mode most people would have this set to as it means you're gonna be able to have sound coming from behind the mic, like another speaker if you're on a Zoom call, but it genuinely won't be picked up 
when you're recording. If you wanted to switch to bi-directional input, this means you could theoretically pop the microphone in the middle of a table between two people, for instance, if you were making a podcast or an interview, and then you'd be able to hear both voices pretty well. In terms of these extra Joby link threads, these mean that you can take any of Joby's other accessories like this grip and iPhone holder, and you've suddenly got a really neat recording setup for vlogging or podcasting. Onto the boom arm then. This thing has a really nice range of articulation, which by the way, you can adjust by this little hidden compartment. It's got a payload capacity of one kilograms and it's really solid. It's clearly built to last. There's a couple of quirky features I wasn't quite expecting here that I wanted to point out. It comes with a cup holder and also a little space for headphones to keep them off your desk. I know these are probably really silly things to get excited about, but I think these are really cool. And I tell you what, they are solid as a rock. Let's hear how all this sounds. So far in this video, you've been hearing me record with a more expensive XLR microphone, but I'm going to switch over to the Joby mic in just a second. I'm going to run just through a few different tests to demonstrate how the audio sounds straight out of the microphone, how it sounds with my usual post-processing effects applied, and then just a little showcase of the different audio modes and how this affects things. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. The swan dive was far short of perfect. Peter Piper picked a peck of pickled peppers. Betty bought butter, but the butter was bitter. Sally sells seashells by the seashore. The swan dive was far short of perfect. Finally, let's move on to talk about pricing. If you buy these separately, the Wavo Pod microphone comes in at just under £90 and the boom arm is about the same. You can have a buy these as a bundle, which Joby called the Wavo Pod Streamer Kit, and this retails for £177, which is a small saving and I think is genuinely pretty good value for the setup you're going to get. I'm going to drop some links to both products and the bundle below and a big thank you to Joby for sending these out for me to test. So overall, I think the Joby Wavo boom arm and Wavo Pod mic are a great choice for anyone looking to up their audio game and as a bundle they're a great addition to any desk setup. As always folks if you've got any questions about these ones just let me know down in the comments below. Pop the word Wavo in to let me know you made it this far in the video. Don't forget to leave a like on your way out and if you want to see more like this one maybe even a cheeky subscribe. See you next time. Mm -hmm.